Gavin. It's morning, Sunday morning, October the 20th, 2017. I'm about to give a very succinct demonstration of how to make hempcrete. I'm working by myself and everything I do has to be organized for an individual. The, the product I'm using is Tradical PF70, which is uh, a grey lime, and the hemp is from uh, also from Tradical. It's called Chandri Bat. Now there are lots of different suppliers of hemp. So, for example, we have here. If I can find, get it on the ground, we have a package for Iso Chandre, which is from Chenevot Habitat, and there's another package from of Chandra Habitat Bio from Sal Lebre Maurice. I have here, of course, a ready prepared sack of uh, uh, PF70 ready to use. This is my do it yourself uh, mixer, which is made from a Cambridge City Council wheelie bin and uh, some handy bits of two by three wood. It's on a pivot and just look inside you can see that I've bolted this threaded rod right through the center and here on the lid I've got a bit of carpet underlay that I've uh, bolted onto the top to act as a seal and the lid is held together with a, um, uh, a ratchet uh, strap. Now it's wander through. Oh, there, there is my uh, 100 litres of, uh, of uh, hemp all ready to use. So if we just walk down here, I'm working on a barn conversion. So if we just come into the barn for a moment. Uh, you can see here, this is, this is a hemp creek floor. Um, which I did a while back and I've begun well that was finished to be honest I've the, um, the wall here uh, as you can see I've got one two three four battens and I've used uh, sterling board shuttering um, okay I've got just the tiny bit here at the top left to do there's just a short section and the infill between the joists along the top now according to the instructions the stuff dries very quickly and you should be able to remove the shuttering within 15 minutes of casting it now my careful calculation was that this would take 750 litres of uh, of hempcrete. Um, in fact it doesn't take 700, it takes rather more. Um, I've used, uh, I'm coming up to 12 sacks of 100 litres, so I'm well into 1200 litres. So it's cost an awful lot more than I was expecting. So this is, the reason I've used, I'm using it here is because this wall for some reason is very damp um you know you can feel it. it's wet it's cold the the the, the earth um between the granite stones is uh, all muddy now i can't seal it up in the normal sort of way that they do these things in france with uh, uh, rock wool and plasterboard i need it to breathe so now let's go and have a look at the making process To the uh, the mixer. Let's put my gloves on because lime mortar dries your hands out something awful. And these blue neoprene gloves have seemed quite good. The 
technical document for Tradical recommends that you add the, the water first and then you add the lime and you mix it up until it's a nice good goo and then you add the hemp but that doesn't seem to be absolutely right so I'm doing it slightly differently I'm adding my 100 litres of hemp first kilos of shredded cow. Ten turns is enough. So all I have to do is get one, two, three little pause to let it drop down. Four, five, six, seven, water that bucket holds 10 and a 5 litre bottle of water
them 10 turns of the bucket should be enough for the uh, really dynamic. It's got a lot heavier with 15 meters of water in. I have no explanation as to why sometimes it needs more water than other times. Uh, I suppose it's just the dryness of the hemp. wheelie bin, according to the number on the front here, will hold 140 litres, but I found that with 140 litres I can't, uh, I can't turn it too heavy. Ah, that's looking good, so we'll do. Very well mixed. Anyway, what it needs is the wheelbarrow.
And that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. The, uh, and then you just take it in and stuff it behind the shutter. Thank you very much.